That's not true. So we need to ask ourselves these questions. Are we absolutely positive that what we are saying or about to say about somebody is true? Did we even ask that person? You know, I heard this. Is this true? Step one. It's got to be step one. Step two. Is what we are about to say about somebody helpful to that person and others? Would it build that person up? Would it help anybody? Or is it just helping us? Because we got some information that we can tell. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot where gossip starts. I know something you don't know. Keep it. Is what we are about to say about somebody going to inspire somebody to act well? Does gossip ever inspire anybody to act well? No. I think it inspires some people to crawl under a rock, but that's about it. Is what we are about to say about somebody absolutely necessary to be said? If somebody's going to get hit by a train, you better say something. If you're saying something about somebody that you don't even know is true, keep it to yourself. Should it even be repeated? Is what we are about to say about somebody kind to everybody involved? If not, keep it. Watch your tongue, James says. And James is so serious about the severity of our language. He talks about it in two other places. He talks about it in chapter 1, verse 19, and again in chapter 4, which we're going to hear about next week. We need to consider James' instructions to us seriously as one of the factors that is so often quoted by those who leave the church. People who are talked about by other church people or things they have heard in church, that's the number one reason why people leave church and never come back. Why would they? Who wants to be attacked? Who wants to be talked about? So James is saying, watch your tongue, watch your mouth. But let's not end on a negative note. There's a lot of positive our tongues can do. And here's what Paul says in Ephesians. When you talk, notice it's from the International Children's Bible, good place to start. When you talk, do not say harmful things, but say what people need. Words that help others become stronger. Then what you say will help those who listen to you. Let us now pray to the Father for forgiveness for all the things we've ever said, all the things we've said that hurt people, and let's pray to Jesus that he helps us get through this, he helps us to hold on to those awful things that we can say. Our Father.